Data warehouse migrations are terrible. Like over half of migrations, and that's being generous, are generally behind on budget, they're behind on schedule. Companies spend months, sometimes years, trying to move from their legacy systems to modern platforms. The usual problems are missed deadlines, they overrun on budgets, and data quality issues are quite frequent. But here's the thing, that's all changing with Lakebridge. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why this matters and how it's transforming the way that we think about data warehouse migrations. Migrations are painful, so what's the path to getting there in the most efficient and effective way possible? When I work with companies migrating from systems like Teradata, Oracle, SQL Server, or even cloud platforms like Snowflake or Synapse, I see the same patterns over and over again. The migration tools are doing maybe, let's say 20% of the actual work that's needed, usually get basic SQL conversion, but everything else, the ETL logic, the stored procs, the complex transformations, all of that is left to manual work. I've seen teams struggle for months trying to validate that their migrated data actually matched what they had in their source systems. Business users, you know what they do, they lose confidence because they can't prove that the new system that they want to move to, okay, is returning the same results. So migrations never finish and eventually these projects get canceled. At best, you have legacy systems running in parallel, but that increases operational costs. So again, they always end up being canceled. As people want to do automated solutions without understanding that, those automated solutions have you know, pretty poor accuracy. So what do most people do? You throw a lot of basically money and people at it and you hope for the best. The reality is that most migration tools were built for simple scenarios. Now with AI, okay, these code converters are good, but they only solve conversion and even that is solved poorly. But they never solve for complex enterprise data warehouses that need proper analysis and they need conversion and they need validation. This is where Lakebridge comes in. It's a unified, free solution for migrating legacy data warehouses to Databricks SQL. It works with over 20 you know, legacy data warehouse uh, types, whether it's kind of the various on-prem systems or the cloud data warehouses. Today it has been used in practice. The tech behind Lakebridge is a marriage between Databricks and Bladebridge. In early 2025, Databricks actually acquired Bladebridge, which was already one of the most advanced migration solutions out there. Databricks then took Bladebridge's proven technology and combined it with their own internal migration tooling in order to create Lakebridge. DoorDash has talked about how great it was to use the system, particularly the fact that it was open and that they could basically understand it, contribute back to the system as they tailored it what was needed in their world. The great thing about it is that it's free, okay? It isn't a freemium model with hidden costs. Lakebridge is open source, it's available on GitHub, and you can start using it today. It's under continuous development, and with each new version, we're gonna get a better product. This is one of the areas that we specialize in at Decision Force. We help customers migrate from legacy data warehouses to Databricks SQL. Now, let's talk about the four components that make it work. Each of these four serves a specific purpose in the migration lifecycle. First, we have the profiler. This connects directly to your source system, whether that's Snowflake, Teradata, or any other platform you get a complete picture of your data estate. We're talking about understanding how many tables you have, user concurrency patterns, also when the system is most used and also what your workload distribution looks like. You have to basically analyze the environment. And Lakebridge has an assessment tool that goes in and does a deep scan, fully understanding the existing world, understanding its semantics and being able to tell you, here's what the scope and what the future TCO is gonna be. This gives you the TCO analysis that you need before you even start planning the migration. The second is the analyzer. This is where things get very interesting. The analyzer scans your actual code base, all of your SQL scripts, stored procs, ETL pipelines, and then categorizes everything by complexity, from low to very complex. It shows you the interdependencies between different parts of your system. It identifies patterns and the functions that are being used. It also gives you detailed insights into what you're actually dealing with. You have a bunch of this code, which is oftentimes written in a proprietary format. The person who has written that like business logic has been replaced by a person who then got replaced by a person and maybe that person is retiring in two weeks. So now how are you gonna migrate? Here's what's powerful about this. Instead of discovering complex dependencies when you're already halfway through your migration and when it's already too late and your project is gonna get delayed, now you know everything up front so you won't miss your future deadlines. You can plan your staffing, you can plan your timelines and your whole approach based on actual data. Third is the converter. This is the engine that actually transforms your legacy SQL and ETL into Databricks SQL. 
What makes Lake Bridge different is that it comes with two converters out of the box. You get the Blade Bridge Transpiler and Morpheus, their next generation transpiler, but these don't necessarily need to be the only ones. The converter architecture is pluggable. If you've built your own conversion tools or you have specific requirements, then you can just plug them into LakeBridge. In the future, all of these components are likely to share data with each other, so your profiler insights will inform your converter decisions. And the last one, the fourth component is the reconciler. This is what gives business users the confidence to actually turn off their legacy systems. The Reconciler compares your source data tables to your migrated Databricks tables at the schema, at the row level, and even column by column, okay? This last part is extremely important because otherwise, you know, as I said earlier, business users would be afraid to make the change and they would always run two systems in parallel and then they're gonna end up having higher costs. Now, how can you get started with LakeBridge? How to install and run it? Getting started is actually very straightforward, but there's some prerequisites that you need to handle first. You're gonna need the Databricks CLI installed. Then it needs to be configured with your workspace ID and cluster ID. You also need to have Python 3.10 or above and Java version 11 or above. If you're on Mac, you can just use Homebrew to install the CLI with a simple brew tap Databricks slash tap followed by brew install Databricks. Once that's done, you can just go ahead and install LakeBridge. Databricks Labs install LakeBridge. That's it. You can then verify the installation by running the help command. For the analyzer, you point it to your source directory that needs to contain your SQL scripts. You need to export those from your source platform. And then you specify where you want the Excel report to be generated. The analyzer categorizes your scripts by complexity. It identifies functions, it flags stored procs, and it gives you insights into the data types that might not be compatible with Databricks. The converter installation is simple as well. You run Databricks Labs, LakeBridge, install Transpiler. Then you choose the source dialect, whether it's Synapse, Teradata, Oracle, or whatever you're migrating from, is gonna convert your queries automatically. From my tests, I've seen conversion rates around 80 to even 90% to be successful, but again, I ran it on relatively low to medium complexity queries. The real world performance numbers based on what Databricks is saying are around the same. They see about 80% of migration tasks getting automated. That 80% reduction realistically means that you save maybe, let's say 50% in terms of delivery time because migrations aren't just about code conversions and reconciliations. You also have downstream code that will need to be reviewed and that's a really hard job. Okay, so the analyzer helps you scope projects. The converter handles SQL and ETL conversion and the reconciler gives you the data validation that you need in order to prove to business users that the migration was successful. At Decision Forest, we specialize in exactly these types of migrations. If you're dealing with a complex legacy data warehouse migration to Databricks, that's exactly our focus. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to discuss your specific migration challenges. And as always, if you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.